Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your December 2017 general reading. I just need to let you know that generally my readings are love readings, okay? But we're going to see what comes up. I'm going to give you whatever I see. Now this may not resonate with you because it's not for everybody, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, it just wasn't meant to be. All right, this is for the month of December 2017. If you want to know more about Soul Source Tarot, you can check out my welcome video. I've pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. And there you are. That's a man or a woman. First card. I am going to be doing a yearly reading for all signs, okay? That's what I'm going to be doing next. If you're watching this in November, because I am recording this in November, remember that time is fluid, okay? So some of this could already be happening. It could have happened in the past. It can be happening in the near future, all right? Time is fluid. So I'm just going to zoom this in real quick. Or fix it. Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Basis of your reading is the Three of Swords. This is for the sign of Taurus. The Three of Swords represents some kind of heartache. And I can see that many of you are having some kind of regrets over a situation. Or you're feeling at a loss. Okay? I feel like perhaps you feel like you're starting over, you know, you're starting something brand new. Uh, something came crashing down that maybe you didn't expect or you expected it to because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Either way, something has crashed, okay? There's been a crash and I think it has caused some hurt, all right? You may be feeling insecure and I do apologize for starting the reading out like this, but this is what I see. Or you may have been feeling insecure. Um, I feel like these, this loss and these regrets that you have, you just need to forgive. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive the other person. I feel like it all happened because there's something new and exciting for you. Perhaps this month it could lead to a new partnership. You may even feel like celebrating. So whatever you are sad about, whatever has caused you um, this hurt, these regrets, try to forgive them, okay? There, It's unnecessary to stay stuck in that spot, okay? It really is. It's time for you to master your emotions this month, all right? Think of it like um, your prayers have been answered, even if it wasn't in the way that you expected, okay? Because I think in many cases, your prayers have been heard and answered um, for the month of December. So think of it like that, okay? I do see excitement here. I see a time of new growth, a time of rebirth. It looks beautiful. It really does. It looks beautiful even though there's been some hurt, all right? Because it's leading to you to something new. One phase of your life has ended, and I think it's heartache. Okay, I think that that is what has ended. This is the world card. We have a major completion here. I feel like this past year has been very difficult and you've learned some big lessons. Okay, I see this. A big lesson has been learned. It could have come in um, via a relationship. Okay, maybe a relationship that you were in taught you something very, very big caught broke your heart okay it broke your heart and now um is your time to forgive and maybe that's the lesson of the year forgiveness okay this is for december december 2017 i feel like there's a more 
to this. You have a bright future. I see excitement. I see new growth. I see that you are being opportun you are being given an opportunity to expand. Okay, I think many of you are going to have a new partnership very, very, very soon if you're single. Okay, this looks like a love reading to me so far. Like I said, most of my readings turn out to be love readings. I feel like you are very stable and secure financially and with yourself. You're feeling stable and secure. I'm not saying that you are overly abundant with riches but you're feeling stable and secure. I think that your self-confidence is coming back. I think that you are opening up. I think that you're very attractive this month, and I think that you could be attracting new love. All right? And, and it's really beautiful because I see that this past year, there has been a lot of hurt. There's been heartache. You've had regrets. You may have felt rejected. Okay, you felt insecure. There's been a loss. All right, and now all that happened for a reason. Remember that that all happened for a reason, believe it or not, because there's a blessing in disguise here. The world card is here to let you know that the past heartache is over. Okay, when the world card comes out, it means you've learned something big. You've reached the finish line. It's time to start a new phase of your life. Celebrate your success. It is a time to celebrate. This December, during this holiday season, really open up. Let yourself be free. Go out with your friends. Go to parties. Be happy. Show your vibrancy. Show your confidence. All right. I see that um, you guys are broadening your horizons. Many of you um, may have somebody, if you go to a party, you go to a gathering, you may reconnect with somebody from a long time ago. Okay. So like I said, everything happens for a reason. This past heartache, maybe you needed to learn to forgive before you get into this next phase of your life. Maybe you needed to learn um, about compromise, okay? Maybe that's something you needed to learn because I see the need to compromise, all right? Maybe you needed to learn to have faith in divine timing, okay? So I just see that there was lessons that were learned, and this month you may be starting a brand new phase of your life. It looks really good. I think your patience is paying off. All right. I think your inner stability is able to counteract whatever crash this is. Okay. Your inner stability, your inner wisdom, your practical nature is able to handle whatever came falling down. Okay. And I feel like you are going to respect yourself more in the end, okay? I feel like many of you are definitely mastering your emotions. Maybe that was the lesson. With the world card, a major lesson has been learned this last year, okay? And I think that you are about to be rewarded, all right? You've learned a lesson, and now it's time to move on to the next phase of your life. And I see that it's going to be very exciting. And it could bring a partnership, you know, after you've been hurt or rejected or have regrets, okay? You may meet this person at a gathering. It could be even a family gathering. It could be a holiday gathering. Who knows what it is? But... It could be somebody that you recognize, okay? Either you recognize their soul or you recognize them from the past. Maybe you knew them when you were a child, okay? I feel like, I'm going to start shuffling, by the way, for the next poll. But I feel like for many of you, it's a beautiful, a time of beauty, okay? I think that you are going to be feeling very beautiful. You're going to be looking very attractive, 
I feel like um, you should expect the unexpected, okay, in regards to love. We do have a Cancer here. We have a Leo here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that is what we have so far. You could be receiving communication out of the blue, put it that way. I see that you should celebrate your success because you've learned something big. All right. Many of you are facing your fears, by the way. <laughs> okay, when this crash falls down, when something happens that it's going to happen, whenever this thing happens that happens unexpectedly, that might cause a shock, you might try to ignore it. You might try to, at first, you might try to ignore it, but the fact of the matter is, is it can't be ignored. It's a blessing, and eventually you're going to see that it was a blessing because something much better is coming. More happiness. Happiness within a relationship is going to stem from this breakdown. Okay, happiness is coming. I feel like there's been a major completion, okay, in your life. And I feel like any manipulation there has been is going to be going away. I feel like there's been some um, difficulties. Absolutely, there's been some difficulties, but you don't need to stay stuck there. Okay, you don't need to be stuck in that spot. You need to acknowledge them and move out of that situation. It feels like something has happened that was very, very hurtful. All right, I think that um, there's some kind of intense, restless energy. Okay, there's definitely some obsessions. And I don't know where this is coming from, but there are some obsessions, and I don't know if they're yours or another person's, but you can free yourself from these obsessions at any time, okay? I do see that you can't ignore this, and that's why this is happening, because you need to free yourself from somebody or something. Something has been holding you back. Maybe that was your lesson. I see that you've learned something big, okay? And something is um, needing to be let go of that no longer serves you. Okay? I, be, I feel like there's been some kind of sabotage. Whether it's you or the other person. It's almost like somebody has been trying to sabotage you. Or you feel like you've been sabotaged. Okay? But I feel like that insecurity that you have is false. It's a false insecurity. All right, I don't feel like you've been been sabotaged, but you feel like it. Maybe you feel like you're the victim, and maybe that's where the lesson comes in, where you start to realize that you're not a victim and there's something much better for you. There is something much better for you. No doubt about it. With the world card, the chariot card, and the tower card, okay? Some people think the tower card is all doom and gloom. It's not. Because when the Tower card comes out, it makes you realize something that you must acknowledge. It brings out a lesson that you must learn. Okay? And this lesson has to do with your heart. Okay? I think it has to do with forgiveness. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving somebody else. Rest And faith. It definitely has something to do with faith. In divine timing, in the divine plan, we have a lot of threes here. Your prayers have been heard, okay? It's a time of growth. It's a time of change. I think many of you are going through a spiritual awakening. And that's why one of the reasons why the tower came out. Because they wanted you to have faith. Okay? I think that it's time to remove all that no longer serves you. Okay? Threes are also about mind, body, and spirit. Okay? So, like I said, many of you are going through an awakening. So, perhaps that's why the tower came out. 
something needed to crash down so that you would see the light. And this is for December. I am going to get another card in December 2017. I think you're making progress. Keep going. It looks like this year has been rough, rough, and finally it's over and it's going to bring something more wonderful. Okay, you've finally reached the finish line. For many of you, there's going to be a new partnership. You are going to feel like celebrating. You have unnecessary worry here. Whatever heartache you've been through, you need to remove yourself from it. Okay, you can. This is a false entrapment in heartache. Okay, it is. Once you release yourself from it, once you remove yourself from that situation, that's when the lesson is learned. Okay. And you, it will bring you much more happiness. But you can't ignore it because if you ignore it, if you ignore your hurt, you have to acknowledge your hurt. You do. When you're hurt, you have to acknowledge it. You have to nurture yourself. Okay? Once you stop ignoring whatever has happened, okay, and you broaden your horizons, look at it from a different perspective, Release it. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. Master your emotions. I feel like something new is going to come in once you do that. This all needed to happen so that you could learn a lesson about yourself. About how to follow your heart. I'm going to get you one of these these angel cards. So this is kind of like a year, a year thing, even though it's December 2017. I want to let you know this month to expect the unexpected. We have these three fives, okay? Life changes are on the horizon, okay? Look at it that way. This had to happen. Whatever it is, or whatever happened over the past year, or is happening in December, had to happen, to bring you closer to your life's purpose. To help you. It, to help you learn a lesson that you had to learn. To release an obsession. You're going to feel like celebrating. Okay? You are. So, I think this is absolutely a positive reading. Oh my gosh, look what just fell out. Can you see that? I knew it too. There's, I got chills like you would not believe. There is nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. There's nothing to worry about. There's unnecessary worry here about your future. That's what this is. There's unnecessary worry about your future. There is no reason for you to be worried about it. Okay, it's going to be positive. Whatever comes crashing down or has come crashing down, accept it. Okay, accept it. Go with it. Don't ignore it. It will bring you a reward. It will. It's going to bring you a new beautiful phase of your life. After a period of challenge, I see that it's been a very challenging year. And I know this is for December 2017, 
but I feel like the year is all coming to an end. This is the completion here. Had this card came up, it might not ha had not come up, it might not have turned out to be that way. But because this world card is here, you guys are ending a phase. A big phase. A phase where you didn't forgive yourself. A phase where you couldn't get over something. I think that's ending. You finally reach the finish line and it's start it's time to start your new chapter. Congratulations, Taurus. Even though something could crash or it has crashed. A new beginning is in the future. A big one. A big, big, big one. It could involve a partner. Talk to you later. I'm not going to keep going because I could just as like a broken record. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, it is what it is. You can free yourself from this situation whenever you want. Okay, now this isn't for anybody. This card tells me that you need to free yourself from this past hurt. You have to, okay? Even if it's challenging, that's part of your lesson. Freeing yourself from this past hurt. There's unnecessary worry about the future. Just let it go. If you do, a new phase starts for you. But anyway, I'm not gonna keep going because we've already talked about this. I will talk to you later.